Google Drawings is G Suite's uh, built-in drawing tool that allows you to do some quick graphics editing, uh, some and kind of punch up your documents or or annotate an image very quickly. Uh, there's a few uses for students in this and and for ourselves, and I'm just going to give you a quick tour now. The way to get to Google Drawing is to go to your drive and click on New. Go to the More button, and underneath there, you'll find Google Drawings. If you type in drawings.google.com, it'll also load a page, but it will load a new blank page like this. Again, the formatting tools are very much the same. You have your share button in the upper right, uh, your untitled drawing, and you can always move the file by clicking on the little folder next to the name. So, I'm just going to title my file. And press enter, and all changes are saved automatically. If I right click on my uh, canvas here, I can go to my background and I can set a color for my background. I can also adjust the size of my drawing at any time. If I need something more like a banner, I can just drag that corner. If I need something uh, more square, I might have to do it in a few stages, but I can change that, that size of that, um, of that canvas. I can also go to page setup if I knew exactly the size I wanted, and or I could pick a screen size if I knew I was going to use it for a screen or for a display. From here, we could do all kinds of things. So we could put a text box in, and I can format that text just like I would normally. So I've got lots of options in there. My font colors, I can change all those kinds of uh, normal editing uh, options that we always have in G Suite size of my font, all those kinds of things. And other than that, it's just drag and drop for sizing and everything else. Uh, the other tools you'll notice that are very similar are things like your image selector. So again, I can search the web right from here. I can upload from my drive or my computer. So if I search my drive and jump in here and find an image of, a, of one of our Chromebooks and bring that in, picture I took, so I don't need any uh, Creative Commons licensing. I can go into the crop tool and this will allow me to just pick part of that image and crop that. I can resize by dragging the handles and I can do some other things on here. Uh, the so, Some really valuable tools. So if I click on there, I also have those image options. Uh, those will allow me to do some quick recoloring. So maybe I want it to be a negative flipped around or black and white. I can also increase, I can do transparency to layer images on top of each other, increase brightness or contrast if I need to punch that image up. Finally, we can also do some borders or some trim around that if we had to. Picking that, picking the border color might make it stand out from the background a little bit. Okay, so I've just added a few tools onto this page just to show you some of the things you can do. Uh, this is an elbow connector, so if you'll see this, you see little purple lines show up. I can move this and connect different elements on my screen and then adjust them later. This is great for diagramming, moving things around. Similar to that, this is called a curve connector. Uh, again, if I grab one of the blue handles, I can connect them to other parts of the diagrams, making uh, diagramming really quick and laying out. Uh, over here I've got just an arrow, so this is allowing me to rotate and resize and make adjustments to the shape of the arrow itself. I've got a power or a, uh, sorry, a text box that I said power button in just to uh, show a label. Again, a label up here in the Chromebook. All these tools are under this little uh, line tool here. So there's shapes here, text boxes, and then uh, lines. So the other things I did with these lines were I used this curve tool to build a shape and it kind of acts as like a, a stretchy curve tool. If I go back to the beginning, I can close it up and make a shape. That's what I did over with this one. Uh, so this one, if I double click it, I can actually edit any of the points on there that I've created the curve with. So I can really explore making different kinds of shapes and adjusting them as we go. Uh, it makes it really flexible to do that. And then of course, resizing afterwards. Uh, the blue one, I use this polyline tool, which gives me uh, any kind of shape I want. Again, if I double click it, I have points that I can edit, kind of adjust the shape after the fact, uh, stretching it around, and then of course I have rotate and resize. Down here I used a text box tool uh, just to create a box of text, so this might be something for an interactive poster or uh, something like that. The other thing we can do with Google Drawings is that we can link them. So if I had something I wanted to put in a link here, I could just insert a link 
and here they actually suggest a couple of searches for links for Chromebooks but I could also put in um, a link that I've made and apply it and now that is hyperlinked so it's a great way for students to create something that is interactive and and offers more information than what can just fit on the page easy design layout tool easy to manipulate and move around the other thing I can do with this is I can actually publish to the web so I've got a couple options here I can download as and and save it as a PDF or JPEG or a ping but I can also publish to the web if I publish to the web I'll get a link and when I do that it's going to give me this link if I copy and paste that into a window it puts it out there so that I can take it as a ping so it just puts it somewhere with a web link where I could download that image really quickly uh, in addition in Google Im or sorry in Google Docs I could insert that as a URL so if I insert an image here by URL I can actually paste that in and insert that in that way so that's a way to bring it over from drawings over to here and make that change. So there's some really uh, simple ways you can edit uh, using Google Drawings, make something uh, very, very quickly, but easily easy uh, to make a visual layout of something.